Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jana's On Tour. It is the 26th of February 2022 and we are back for another big match day experience. Plymouth Argyle versus Rotherham United. So today is a very big game for Argyle playing top of the league Rotherham United. A team very, very much in form. Only conceded five away goals um, all season. So very, very tough side. Top of the league looking like they're going to be getting promoted straight back to the Championship. A team that seems to be too good for League One and never quite good enough for the Championship. So a very tough test for Argyle today. However, packed out home park. 14,000 fans about, they reckon, today. Let's hope we can roar the uh, lads over the line today and get a much-needed win in our playoff push. So obviously midweek we had a 2-0 loss away at Oxford. Uh, didn't play it to our best, so today the lads really need to bounce back if they want to get a result. So it's going to be very, very tough today. But with the crowd behind us, hopefully a big intensity. I don't see why we can't give Rotherham a good game. Uh, so Rotherham have a very good attacking um front few up front they have the likes of Freddie Ladapo obviously who was at Argyle uh, they have uh, Michael Smith as well who's a very good striker who's got lots of goals already this season so it's going to be tough but like I said we just need to play our game you know if we can match that performance the likes of we saw at Chelsea then there's no reason why we can't get a result today obviously it's very tight at the top um, around the playoffs so any point will be good I would take a draw today if I'm being honest I think um, Rotherham like I said so strong especially away from home, only conceding five goals, that a draw would be a very good result today. So, I'm hoping we can get a draw, maybe a 1-1 draw, but if I'm being realistic, I maybe see a 2-1, 3-1 loss, if I'm being honest, but let's just hope we can hang out for that draw. Andy Lodge has uh, messaged the channel, he reckons it's going to be a 2-1 win for Argyle, so let's hope, Andy, you're right. So, it's a very nice day today in Plymouth, it's been an awful week half term always is but it's a very nice day today so it should be nice up home park so i'm gonna head up there now and meet rich and sean and we'll see you for another big match day experience Plymouth argyle versus rotherham united come on argyle let's have it okay we're back outside home park with rich the main man how you doing rich yeah not far so rich big game today rotherham united top of the league five goals conceded away all season pretty good record it's gotta be a tough one that amazing away record for football we're at the moment with five to the season so far yeah but what are you thinking? Uh, I think that we will win 1-0. Oh, so you've gone for a cut your confidence there, Rich? Oh, I've been confident since Wednesday. I just got this feeling in here telling me I had to throw three points at the You think so? So how do you think we... What what will we have to do to win the game then? We have to be uh, 100% in every department. Yeah, defending. We have to make sure we do very well defending, adapting. As well, yeah. OK, we'll just speak to uh, Sean while Rich is selling. But Sean, obviously a very tricky day today, just like I've said, top of the league. Rich is pretty confident. <sighs> what about you? I'll say 1-1. You think it's going to be a draw? Yeah, I went for a 1-1 draw. I think realistically it's going to be very tough today, I think. Very tough. Rotherham don't concede many goals, so... If we can stay solid, what do you think? Do you think we'll get the first one and then concede one, or do you think they'll score first and we'll... They'll score first and then we'll score. And we'll come back. I would take that all day long. We've got a lot of home games coming up, and hopefully get an extra point today, and then crack on. More come next week. Yeah. And what about Freddie Ladapo with John? And then we've got Freddie Ladapo coming back. He's going to have a point to prove, isn't he? Obviously. Hey, yeah. Um, but yeah, so let's hope then, guys, we can get a uh, at least a point by the end of the day. A win there, like Rich said, would be absolutely phenomenal, wouldn't it? Today. A phenomenal, yeah. In front of a full house at home park. Uh, right, about guys. Fourteen thousand. That's it. Right, guys. Well, thanks for uh, being on, and we will speak to you guys later on. For the big one. Team Army. Come on.
And the guys at half time, Plymouth Argyle nil, Rotherham nil. It's a pretty good game. I thought we tried to play some good football along the way. Um, had a good chance against the post header, but also they've had some good chances as well. Freddie Ladapu, very pacey. Uh, he's hit the uh, woodwork as well and had a uh, save from Cooper as well. So overall, pretty even game. Uh, dangerous attacks from both sides. Um, yeah, pretty, it's, been, it's been better than I thought from us actually. We've tried to play, play them at their own game and so far, so good. Yeah, we've been very well so far. We've been trying to attack them like them attack us. It looks like it's time to attack the game. So we haven't got the right chance that we win the match. Yeah, I think so. I, think, I don't think there's going to be as many goals in it as I first thought. I thought, oh, we're in for a bit of a hard day today. But hopefully we can keep it tight and hopefully we can get the goal and win it. Maybe 1-0. Yeah, it's not a good goal for way. Yeah, but I think there will be at least a goal or two in the second half. 100%. Definitely. Sean, so far so good. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right, yeah. Just gotta get that goal, haven't we? That's it. So guys, um, yeah. Very even, I should say, Sam. Well, very even. That's it. That's it. We found some seats as well, so Rich is gonna come sit with us at the uh, a bar end. So hopefully, get a good view of a nice winner in Denver. Oh yeah, I hope so. Right, the guys. Well, let's hope uh, we can get the win because the results aren't quite going our way today so far. We're currently down to eighth in the league. So if we get a win, get back in the playoffs. Be a brilliant day overall. See you for the second half. Comedy Green. Comedy Green. One now, Rotherham. Michael Smith. Yeah, Michael Smith. Hello guys, welcome back. The game finished, Plymouth Argyle nil, Rotherham United won. In the end, a very close and entertaining game actually. I thought we were very unlucky not to get anything out of that one. Um, you know, Rotherham's quality shone through in the end. Michael Smith, good finish. We knew he could do that, um, unfortunately he did today. Um, Ryan Hardy had a handful of chances. Um, could easily have had one or two goals, but unfortunately didn't quite fall for us there at the end. So we lose, um, but overall, Rich, you can't complain too much, can we? No, we don't, not at all. I thought we did well, we worry well them. We did. I feel we very worry them a bit, though. We did, I said that as well, because even they were sort of wasting a bit of time at the end. They knew that they were in a game, and they knew that they, you know, ha were hanging on in a way at the end there. So, uh, yeah, it's good signs for us going forwards. Obviously, you never want to lose a game, and never. It, it puts us out of the playoffs, but if we can play like that against teams here at Home Park, I think we can win more than we lose, do you think? Definitely, Dan. Yeah. But we had to come out a team a bit more in the third half than that. Like, the better yeah. you play in the If we play like Portmore, take it easy. But if we play like Mumbai and Morton, we should do a bit more for them. Yeah, we should do. We should sort of get try and get an early goal really in game, shouldn't we? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What about you and Sean? Disappointed to lose, but not too bad today. I'm not disappointed. It was a good game. But... Yeah. They've got the quality, don't they? Yeah. That's it. That counts. So, obviously a loss, but positive signs anyway guys so just going forward on the channel we've got a big month in march five home games can you believe it six is it five or six 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 home games six. wow well six however many there are there's <laughs> a lot of home games anyway by the way five or six uh the next three um rich you're going to take charge of yeah, yeah definitely do sort do. of work commitments and stuff so rich is going to be taking charge of the vlog for the morecambe game the wimbledon game and the pompey game then i'll be back for two special vlogs the uh, yeah posh going posh again in the hospitality for um, Accrington and hospitality for Cheltenham. So there is going to be uh, lots of games. It definitely is five actually because the Oxford game is at the start of April. So those are the five games. So Rich will be taking charge of the 
Um, Morecambe game, Derek Adams return next week, Wimbledon and Pompey, and then I'll be back in the hospitality suite, like I said, for uh, for Accrington and for Cheltenham. So five home games, all on the vlogs. Hopefully we can win more than we lose. In my mind, we need to get six points out of uh, Morecambe and Wimbledon coming up. But um, if we don't miss it, boy, it would be uh, in the hunt. Yeah, and then, and then in between that, we've got Bolton away on the 12th of uh, March. Yeah. It's a very tough game, so... Overall, lots of games come in. We need to get as many points as we can. Hopefully, we can finish in those playoff positions come the end of April. Yeah, let's hope we can. Let's hope we can. Okay, guys, well, thank you very much for tuning in to Channels on Tour. Thank you for um, supporting us. I know it was a loss, but if you could give the video a like, a comment, and uh, subscribe if you're not already, that would be great. We want to try and get to 500 uh, as soon as we can towards the end of the season. So, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. We will see you for the Morecambe game with Rich taking charge yep. in a week's time. Don't wait. See you later then, guys. Yeah, Green Army. Army. Come on. Oh,